Hello all, welcome to Oracle Cloud Learning OIC. Today in this video we will be seeing how we can add a schedule to one integration. So before adding schedule to one integration, there are some prerequisites which has to be completed. So first is like we have to create this integration based on a scheduled orchestration and it should be activated without any errors and it should be in active state. So once these steps are done to add schedule, you have to click on this action button and click on add schedule. So this will take you to the page where we can add this schedule in OAC. So there are two ways to add the schedule. One is simple and another one is ical expression so this simple we can use the oracle predefined values it will be used in most of the scenarios if you want to do some complex expressions you can use the ical anytime so for simple steps also we can use ical but for simple things we will use the simple which is already provided by oracle so it will be easier here only so here if you see it's directly defaulted to only once if you want to schedule this only once like you can just directly select this here and you have to click on this current run date which is already provided by default and click on modify start date so if you want this integration to be run on only once on like let's say 26th of april on 12:15 am you just have to select the date and time and it will be automatically submitted on this time frame this we have to do for only once so there are some other options also let's say if you want to run our interface like every two hours we can just add the values here and similarly we can add time minutes also so it will run for every two hours and 10 minutes so this option is there also we can do every one day every two day every three day those options are also there the same applies to weeks and months like we can do for every two weeks every three months this interface will get submitted so this we can do combinedly as well so let me show you one important part like which is which can be useful many times like if you want this integration to be run on each workday what you can do is you have to select for every one day you have to click on this days days of every week if you click on this weekday like what will happen now this integration will be submitted for each day only on these days like monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday except saturday and sunday so this option is there so if you select day of every week there is a condition that you have to select this week of every month like if you want this interface to run for all the week you can just directly select all of them like if you want this integration to be run only on first second fourth and last week except third week you can do that as well like that you can add expression and you can directly click on save so if you click on this save this will save this schedule part so this is by using a simple expression next we will proceed with using an ical expression so ical expression i will give you one sample expression which contains most of the scenario so first we have to provide frequency equals i will give yearly so next what we can give is interval i will give as three so this will run this interface every three years by month we can give i will give it as eight so every august month of three years this integration will be submitted so next i will proceed with month day on every august it will run only on fifth and tenth days by hour it will run this integration only on these mentioned house also it will be in 24 hour format like you can give this as well so after this is done you can give by minute also i will give it as 30 so this expression what will do is it will run this interface for every three years only on august month and only on these two days and only on these five hours these four hours and only and it will be run every 30 minutes so like this if you want to do any complex operation we can always use the cycle expression 
so here if you see there are two other options so if you want to stop the schedules on a particular time frame you can give value for until you can track the time stone and you can also provide like when the schedule will start so if you see now like if i give it as today this integ this integration schedule from today onwards like that we can provide this value also so the syntax basically we have to know these things and all and everything will be supported by this this value like this will be used to the semicolon we will use to separate each expression so after this you have to just validate your expression and if there are any errors like out of range okay so i have provided 24 let me try with 23 so it worked yeah so it will run till 23 has maybe 24 they might have added that limit so this is how we will use an ical expression to submit an oac interface so after adding this ical expression like what we can do is we can also edit this in future also like in this integration so since we have added the schedule here we will only see schedule from now onwards you can directly click on the schedule so this is how we will start the schedule like this is the start icon this is the pause icon like once it is started this icon will come here and this is the edit icon if you click on this edit this will again open the same page where we added the schedule you can modify any time so let me start this schedule once so schedule is started so if you see now like this schedule is now started like if you want to stop the schedule you can click this icon so that's it for today like, thanks for watching if you find this video useful please like share and subscribe to Oracle Cloud Learning's OAC. Thank you.